I just took it down, dude. Hang ten teeth on a fudgy wudgy. No, it's just so funny. Because I eat the apples in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> do I always eat all of them? Do you have to put... No. Do you... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, must I apologize for that? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> all right. Good evening, members. Good freaking evening. It's late. Good we're evening. We're cutting the vibe. What do you mean we're cutting the vibe? You better start. You mean we're cutting in late? Is that what you're trying to go no, with? No, we are. Intermatching. And I wore dogs. Long Johns. You wore dinosaurs. I wore dogs in honor of Dennis. Here he is. Ben, where is your... You have these, though. What? Where are they? Oh, you wanted me to go matching? Yeah. I have those, too, but I don't know where they are. Um, It is almost 8 o'clock at night. Well, it's that, seven. That doesn't seem late for you. But however, however, I woke up at four a.m. to Dennis's barking, and I have not gone back to sleep. Today we ran the El Slamo Classic, and it was an absolute hit. Best mm -hmm. El Slamo Classic ever. You think it was? You think it, they were as hype? Are you kidding? See, like the the crowd was dispersed. You got to realize that. They were trying to win. I was thinking that. They were really involved. Because well, we I get... bought this really fancy belt, and all the boys were actually really trying to Did win. Did Perry send you a picture of where it's going to be in his house? Like, I asked him. Yeah, he has it next to, like, his his diploma and everything. <laughs> <laughs> he um, said it's the biggest accomplishment of his life. I mean, I'm so happy for him. So congratulations, Perry Saganas. Tried to get him on. He's at Maynard's. He's wearing the belt at Maynard's right now. <sighs> He has to come on. Like, he has to come on tomorrow. He like, is he celebrating. Doing? Yeah, we're going to try to get him on tomorrow. But by the way, wanted to shout out Evan Skinner. He said uh, Ben's tangerine hat is fire. Thanks, Dan. Uh, thanks, Evan. We're for you again tonight. Oh, that's the Window <coughs> Waves. You can get them on windowwaves.com. They're oh, pretty yeah. sick. We love I saw our B. Wind Mishy had one on today. Oh, did he? He's loving it. We love our, our Window Waves beanies. It's and kind of our B. Favorite. B. Mishy was rocking his... Uh, his Bluebird. His Bluebird. Good for B. Mish. So Server B Dane is... Uh, I'm upset. Why? Because she got the competitor. Oh, god! Because somebody else told her to get it. And she was like, why is everyone wearing this brand? And I said, <laughs> I said, this is the brand. And I said, we could have given her a discount code. Yeah. And she was like, oh, and she bought them for everyone. Because she uh, bought them for, like, oh, well, her friends don't listen to this. But <clears throat> Surfer Dana does. Um, but I was like, oh, well, next time. Shout out Surfer Dana, though, for always bringing, like, the good energy. Oh, my God. Such good she energy. And she's been years. listening to our podcast. Thank you, Surfer Dana. And she brought, okay, Surfer Dana is like, OG, right? OG. I mean, in I've, the known, New Jersey. I've known her my whole life. I don't know how I know her, but I know her. Yeah. <laughs> and she got Denny. First off, she has a beautiful dog named Poncho. And she got Denny a blanket and a freaking little reindeer stuffed animal. Didn't have to do that. She got it. It was so sweet. Denny was up, is obsessed with the blanket. The and, blanket, first off, glows in the dark. And Denny is a hit. So I'm just going to put his pictures up right here. Check them out. Bing, bing, bing. Thank bing, you, Nat bing, Geo. Bing. Nat G. Beautiful awesome. pictures of my son. But. You don't understand the problems that your son was causing today. What are you talking about? He does not cause any problems. This dog was <laughs> hating his whole life on that on those rocks. Well, he was facing so the ocean's here. He was facing the street. But I will say, in like a stance position, like I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. I'm like, Mom, I'm leaving. He was going, Mom, I'm leaving, and I'm like, No, <laughs> son, you're staying. He's like, Mom, I'm leaving. That's and one thing about Dennis. He always wants to leave. He always wants to leave. No I, but I did put him in the car, and I had the car running, and he was totally fine. But every time I would go back in to visit him, I visited him, like, I would say five or six times, and it was only, like, an hour span. I was like, Denny, you okay? And he literally wouldn't even get up. He wouldn't even look at me. He was just like, mm, I'm not that happy. But he's a sweet baby, and we love him. But he was really stoked when we got home. Dennis just wants to live his entire life on our couch with me and Jordan pampering him. So, I got it. Denny's a pampered nice. soul. He's a beautiful young man. Um, so it was a wild ride today. This might put you to sleep, but I know I don't like to vibe. Can we do? Can we do a hype up vibe? I'll do it. Okay. All right. Ready? All right. Let's vibe. We're hyping up today. If you're listening to this in the beginning of your day, just real remember that today is the start of something. It could be the start of something new, and you're gonna be energized and p positive. And just stoked to start your day. And if you're finishing your day, you're going to be grateful. And you're going to be remembering that today was a good day. 
So, whatever you're doing, just know that you're doing good. <laughs> was that good? That was beautiful, Jordan. I don't know. I was, I'm half asleep, but I feel like that was okay. I think, like, when I met you, I don't know if you'd be capable of throwing that down. So No, I've learned a lot from you, I will say. Um, I'm sleepy. I think, maybe, have I taught you gratitude? No. Ben, I was in the program before you, and we so did... Taught a, you you know about gratitude. We did a gratitude list, like, every day, and, like, you always did a gratitude list, and that was always something I did, so... You want to know what you've taught me? Nothing. Patience. <laughs> Get it. Shut up. Shuck it um, Wait, do we have to pick the winner? Yeah. We'll right. do it at the end. Um, do you think that marriage is... Oh, I don't want to talk about marriage. Do you think marriage is just a continuous learning process of ups and downs, but at the end of the day, if you're with the right person, you always just... You know how every day, even if I'm sleeping on the couch with Denny and you're in the bedroom by yourself and we're not sleeping together, or maybe we got into a little argument mm -hmm. at some point throughout the day, I come in, I kiss you on the head, I say, good night, Jordan, I love you. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's what? Like marriage is always up and down? I don't know. I was just saying, do you think like if you're with the right person, there's always that reconciliation of yeah, like... Have to. I think like it has to be like, something so major, like no fight that we've truly ever gotten into have ever, has <clears> ever been so crazy that we couldn't get past it i do think that comes up in marriage and that would just be like an unfaithful or untruthful yeah. marriage and then um, you're not going to be able to pretty much come back from that but what i'm know. saying is though like i'm i'm very grateful for you and Dennis. wow he she he's 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 been very grateful lately no, tell I have. Him, yeah. telling me a lot like thank you for decorating our house thank you for <laughs> You know, maybe because I have been grocery shopping. Well, maybe it's... But I have a bone to pick about grocery shopping. Maybe it's just because I've been home for two months and maybe this is the eye-opener I needed. To wow. For what? To cause... realize that you love me? No. Well, he has a lot of, he has a lot of realizations that he loves me. Well, I have realizations every day. But, <sighs> you know, if you learn it, you learn and grow every day. Yeah. So I have just had the realization that, like, I know I've always known that my life was good, mm -hmm. but at home, mm -hmm. but maybe I just never, like proved it to myself so well, yeah, being yeah. home for the past two months i'm like wow like my life is really good like i have great friends a great wife i i love my house i have dennis the light of my life Our i feel like yeah you're you're never home to really like by the time you get settled you're already planning or going to yeah. your next trip yeah. so like how could you ever be in the moment in your own home or in with your family or me or yeah. now dennis if like he comes back from a trip, by the time he's ready to unpack, he's packing. Yeah, and sometimes I don't even unpack. It's literally the same bag. Same bag, or like literally the you put the old. Out. I was about to say you <laughs> you put that bag aside um, and pack a new one. So, <clears throat> but yeah, and then I just want to mention our families because they're, they're I've been spending a ton of time with your family, ton of time with my family, and uh, so much nicer. It's been beautiful, and I've been vlogging once a week, and it's given me time to reflect, and it's given me time to actually just live my life because. I could go three days without picking up my camera, which is crazy. Heavy. And the podcast is different because I I come in here, I press record, we talk, and then I cut it. Yeah. I have to edit it later on, but it's different than walking around all day and vlogging. Like, when I'm vlogging, I'm vlogging, like, 30% of our day. Well, and you know, you're vlogging, like, but you're also, like, thinking producing. About it. I'm like, dude, okay, well, I got to get a shot of us driving if we're going somewhere, blah, blah, blah. But I've really just been in my life, and it's also, it's given me just a lot of, you know, <sighs> I don't know. I'm, I'm very grateful. So and, I, and I'm also grateful for the Nub Nation, so I just want to say thank you, guys. Should I put, pick um, a bone? What's up, everybody? We are currently recording the Fully Nuking Podcast. If you are not subscribed to the Fully Nuking Podcast channel, please hop on there, support the dream, and subscribe because this is the reason why. We are only six subscribers away from our goal of 10,000 followers on our podcasting YouTube channel. Help us out, and uh, you'll also get to listen to some fun and interesting podcasts along the way for the dream. All right, I just shared that to my Instagram story. Hopefully, we hit 10,000 by the end of this podcast, because if not, we're going to hit it in the middle of the night, and then we're going to wake up with it, up, which is not as exciting, but still exciting, because we've been working on this goal for a while. All right, Jordan, we're back into it. Should we read some comments, um, or do you want to pick this bone? I want to pick this bone. What's this bone? The bone is you. Me. Yesterday, uh -oh. I went to the grocery store. Yeah. Bought a pound of turkey. 
expensive turkey. <sighs> Wasn't that good, God. but it was expensive. Sir, seventeen dollars. It's pound. always seventeen dollars nowadays. I know, but this is the this is the bone I have Inflation, to pick with you. Inflation, baby. I made turkey sandwiches for dinner last night. You that was our sandwich. It. I had probably I would say a sliver. No, what's it? Seventy five percent is what? A quarter. Three quarters. Three quarters of a pound left. Oh, okay. Whoa. I come home today. He's making himself a sandwich. I'm like, oh, okay. Where's the rest of the turkey? I was gonna make myself a sandwich. <laughs> He said the turkey was gone. I said, sir, do you understand? He said the turkey was gone. He said, I said, sir, do you (laughs) understand? That was a pound of turkey that was bought last night at like seven o'clock at night. You had decided to eat that pound of turkey. I had a little bit, I'm not going to lie, for the night before, but I only only put uh, three slices of turkey on my sandwich. I think you're forgetting that we had turkey sandwiches. Yeah, I'm saying I put three slices on mine, three slices on yours. There was at least... How many slices are in a pound? Give me a reel. I don't know. There was at least 15 slices left. 15? Yeah. What do you think? Five slices left? No, no. There was like eight slices left. But well then I should I start be buying two pounds of turkey? Like how much is normal? And I'm gonna go to Florida Cold Cuts because I'm done with castles. I'm just saying. I don't know. I'm just Jordan. saying like to keep this is this is my bone to pick. I go grocery shopping. He kind of sometimes complains when I don't have groceries in the house. Well, not you don't always go grocery I shopping. I come home from surfing and I go, Mom. And he's like, No, there's no groceries. I'm like, Okay, man. <laughs> I will go grocery shopping. I go grocery shopping. He goes through food so readily that he has to like i'm this is how i eat when i eat in the house i ration i don't think you ration you don't ration when we go out to restaurants that's different that's no. one time i'm not bringing the if i bring home the food it's never the same my unless it's like pizza but i don't really eat pizza out but my thing is like if you if you ration your food i won't finish a, the whole turkey because i know there's other people in the house aka you i'm sorry you don't have to be sorry. I'm just, I'm just trying to be, make you aware of the situation. I maybe, wish Mackie was here to back me Maybe up. I don't always finish. Maybe I don't always grocery shop exactly when you want, but I also can't keep up with the demand. I think that's it. I can't keep up with the demand. Okay. Rebuttal. Yeah. When I don't finish the turkey in one day, it sits in the fridge, it gets wet, it sweats, and you say, that turkey's bad, I'm not eating it, throw it out. There's that too. I'm not going to lie. Okay. But I was thinking so, that one day of a pound of turkey was kind of, it was less than 24 hours. It wasn't. Hours. You're, missing, you're missing the whole point. We ate turkey last night. That was when I bought it. Okay. That's a lot of turkey. Well, Dennis had a slice. Then he can't be eating all this, man. <laughs> you're feeding the dog way too much. He is a prince. Ugh, this guy is going to give mail. All right. We got a good one from Tyler Perry. <laughs> you always do Tyler Perry. No, you do. No, you didn't. See, he leaves good comments. You can't rag on me anymore. Wawa, it's where it's at. No arguing at all. Agree the quality lately has gone down, unfortunately. But even with that, it's the best. Tyler Perry knows. Where are you from, Tyler Perry? Yeah. We would love to know. (laughs) I think it's interesting that we, after all the Wawa promotion that you have given, I have given, everyone has given on the blog, they have never sent us like a care package. And I see them sending influences from down here, care packages all the time. Seriously? Yes. Like the girl That's who you were saying the other day. Yeah, and I'm like... You just need someone at the company who knows who you are. I know, but like, I've tagged Wawa. They've answered my DMs. Like, I'm not... I don't have that many followers, but like, I am like, what the heck? Like, we haven't... You haven't got one gosh darn pot... Like, care package? They send care packages. Now, if anyone from Wawa is watching this, please... That would be like the biggest highlight of our whole life. I'm the Wawa. I I'm, feel like we should stop talking about Wawa if they don't send us a bat box. I might start going to Sheets. I might start going to to Royal Farms Farms and get some chicken. Storm Chaser 12111 says, why haven't you got a TV channel already, bro? Because there's TV super at all. Storm Chaser. Well, what I wanted to say was, we're working on it. We're working on creating a network. It's probably not going to be on TV. It's going to be on the internet. But (laughs) if you think about it, we got the vlog. We're working on the podcast. Maybe there's the Jay Vern podcast. Maybe there's multiple podcasts forming off of this podcast. We have the setup, so we can do whatever with it now. Yep, and uh, that's the dream, you know. Um, My dream would be like coming in here and filming, like yourself, like using a studio. Like this has a studio. Like I was yeah. thinking about that because when we put the light up here and we sat there and like it looked cool. Like I could literally just oh, put yeah. a background that would be my background yeah. and I could film videos. Or like film Instagram something like I feel like that would be so cool because we have we have like an official setup now. Um, so. Yeah, and it's just really expensive. That's that's the main thing. So 
got to keep grow- growing what we're doing, keep working hard on what we're doing, and hopefully stuff will just keep stemming out of that. But thank you, Storm Chaser, yeah. for the dream. Emily Levine says, are you going to surf all the seas before you surf all the countries? On the seventh day of Nuke Miss? <laughs> Colton Smith. Um, oh, Heather Williams says, morning 9.9 crew, ready for the laughter. But Emily, I have a big... <sighs> massive project coming up next fall next fall it's with oh. red bull and it has to do with the seven seas that's all i'm saying seven seas. but it's a big deal i'm really stoked for it and our last comment of the day gwen cotham mm-hmm. i've been waiting for this all day is your favorite fruit the pineapple no what's yours no i feel like your favorite fruit is like a banana um like it to eat well if someone offered me banana and pineapple, I'd choose pineapple. Oh. Well, true, because bananas too, like, every day. I eat a banana every day. Yeah. Um, a pineapple might be my favorite. Pineapple or strawberries? I'm going to say pineapple has become my favorite fruit <laughs> through the process of being Ben Gravy because... You have to. It's provided me with so much joy in my life. What and about eating? Eating. Just solely eating. Well, when I eat it, it, it's nostalgic for me. It brings back all the memories of my career. So, every time you eat it, it's like... Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Because everyone's always like, oh, pineapple, here you go. I've been given, like, dozens of pineapples mm-hmm. on tour. And also, like, there's always the joke if, so, if I'm eating pineapple. You know, people are like, oh, yeah, obviously you're eating pineapple. That kind of thing. But. Yeah, the pineapple has been good, good good to us. Pineapples are good. I used to not, I used to hate pineapple, actually, like, as like a kid. the taste of it? Because, um, like, you ever have some weird type of pineapple? Like Wawa pineapple is actually famous for this. It makes you slurpy? like no, it makes your like mouth film a little bit. There's like some reaction it's that acid something that There's, they get gnarly when they sit for a while. I yeah, think. I always like them. Ooh, that noise. <laughs> Ugh. No, I'm not. A, I love a pineapple. That that like m- makes me want to get an acai bowl. So yeah, pineapples are my favorite flute. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? I'm for that Susie. tired. Pineapples are my favorite fruit currently. Ever. For, yeah, my life. Now they've, yeah, they've. What's the most underrated fruit? Pineapples, probably. No, they're not underrated. <laughs> they're very rated. Um, I don't actually know. Like, I feel like the most underrated good fruit is maybe like a, like a blackberry. I mean, are people still out here eating apples? Apples a day keeps the doctor away. Like honey crisp apples will change your life. If but I w- what's what is the problem with apples? Because. I, my family growing up buy apples. The only person to ever maybe eat them was my dad. And like they would just sit and sit and sit and then get rotten. I'm the apple master. But you you let apples sit too. No, because those ones got rotten because we went on a trip. No, we've we been went home to Pennsylvania. for two months. No, they don't go rotten that quickly. Yeah, they did. They, they went rotten. I tried to bite into one the other day when we got back. Yeah. And it was brown. I think you just make up and stories. And I was eating Honeycrisp apples out of your mom's fridge in Pennsylvania. No, I know, but I'm saying mo- a lot of the time I've, I've thrown away apples before you even probably realize. <sighs> Ben's always just defending himself. So justified. Yeah, because everyone's always attacking me. No, it's just so funny. Because I eat the apples in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> do I always eat all of them? Do you have to put... No. Do you... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, must I apologize for that? <laughs> no. No. Do you have to eat the apple? Do you have to keep an apple in the fridge? But we... I can say this mm-hmm. before you continue. Mm-hmm. The apple does not fall far from the tree. <laughs> My quote was way better. Was an yours? apple that gives a doctor away. <laughs> <Nicolo>. <laughs> no, but like my question is like at the grocery store, the apples are like out, not refrigerated same with the lemons the limes all that stuff yeah but once you come home do you put it in there keep it longer do they not or well, do you not sit. eat them because they're in the fridge and that's how i feel because especially because oh. our fridge's door doesn't oh open. well yeah i see what you're saying because um well at castles they're in the fridge yeah but everything at castles is in the fridge castles but is so screwed if up. you get apples at acme they're, they're not, sitting out they're sitting out and but same then with you lemons. take them home and you put them in the fridge that's my thing. But I would eat more of them if they were out. I know. But they I don't think they'll last as long out, Do but that'd be like better. A, is it because they're cold? Is I that... don't like a cold apple. I'd rather probably eat a room temp. I've been eating the room temp bananas and oranges every day. Can I see your cake? Oh, I thought, oh there's something black there. I made myself a cauliflower crust pizza when you were out partying. I saw that. I was not partying. I was at a cookie exchange with my aunt, who is my godmother. How'd it go? She's my mom's best friend, and she's my godmother, and it was great. We had, so I had to drive to Philly. I drove with my mom, which was nice. I don't even know what we were talking about. But um, 
we had my aunt had like a beautiful setup for food and stuff and then we did our cookies and we i baked a peanut butter flourless cookie that i don't even think ben tried did you try oh you yeah, did I try tried both of your cookies yeah thank you and um my mom made like an almond cookie that was delicious my aunt ween made a peanut butter cup cookie that was great lots of peanut butter I brought home a bunch so for Ben can try because like a lot of people start store bought. My aunt Ween and my mom were the only two that bought and, baked. And uh, your made. mom also offered for your dad to come pick me up and drive me around <laughs> if I was bored. So shout out to Carla for always having my back. <laughs> my mom was like, "I've been wants to come for a ride, and then he can drive back with you," which actually would have been nice if you drove back with me because it was so. It's been raining here for days and like. Oh wait, so your dad drove up and picked your mom up? Yeah, uh, I think that's what my mom I would have done that. Yeah, I would have picked you up. Um, Any opportunity to drive my new car, I could have got Dennis. Yeah, in but how car. we had to get there somehow. My what? dad drove. I picked my mom up. And oh, then and we couldn't have done it. No, yeah, we couldn't have done it. But you would have to drive my car home. I could. I was thinking about if I took Ben's new car to the city. So like, if you guys have ever been to South Philly, I don't want that. The freaking streets. You don't understand, like. The cars park on top of each other, but this street my aunt lives on is like, you have, you don't have any room. There's no room for error. If you go a l an inch this way, you hit this car. If you go an inch this way, you hit a pole. There's some streets that are. You've been on her street. There's some streets that you should not drive down in South Philly. I, I've pulled into a street in my van and just been like. No, your van, your no cars, way. you couldn't drive it no way. on my aunt's street. And somehow I've made it, but. Do you know there's a street in um, South Philly that my aunt's, uh, my other aunt's friend lives on the street. It's a dead end on one street. They all drive in, right? No, they they back in, ben. and then they all drive out. Yeah, so they yeah. it's a dead end on here, and there's a little baby spot for you to pull in, and there's the parking, and you to park in the street, you have to back your car in, so you have to know, like how why it's so crazy that would even exist. Yeah, and then they all and then but they park each other in. Not that street because you uh, can't park each other. But I've in. seen that. Oh, yeah, There's well, There's like parking. three or four cars parked in. I mean, it's totally normal to park, park in the middle of the street. Philly know, has been known for that. They must just know who's leaving when. It's so Because otherwise, the guy in the back's not leaving. I got a good spot, though. I will not. I only had to park block. I had to drive two blocks away or walk two blocks. Isn't it funny? Everybody has certain things that they sacrifice to live where, where, they, wanna live. where they live or in the house that they want to live at. And those people's sacrifice is sometimes that crazy parking. Yeah. Well, I love like li like I grew up going to my aunt's in South Philly, and I literally love her house. I literally love her street. I love everything about her area. Like South Philly, her South Philly is like where I'd want to live. Like I always grew up going there and being like, oh, this just feels homey. It's just so different in the city. I like Philly. I do too. I asked them too because like a lot of them live in the city, and I was saying like, is it as bad as like they say it is on the news or like I read on like Facebook groups and stuff? And I don't they were like, that. they were like, honestly, is it? They were like, is it as bad? This is a good question. Or is it because we have Facebook, we have Instagram, we have all these platforms that people now can get popular on and say, oh, yeah. this happened to me. Well, I think that. I don't think there's like a crime wave in Philadelphia. That's that what they were saying. Hasn't been there. Yeah, that's it's exactly what they were been saying. Like that. Yeah. Well, they were saying, oh, the, oh, yeah. The news says it's worse than New York. It's like, how could it technically be worse than New York? Why New York is, is a, that going around? New York, New York is a way bigger city. Because like her, her one niece was like, I've lived here my whole life. I've never, I've never felt unsafe in my hometown, like where I live. Like I just feel like there's, yeah, there might be more homeless people. Well, my sister was like, yeah, Philadelphia's she, kind of bad. It's like, and I was like, yeah, but do you think do that's like sabotage that? from other cities? Like New York City's part of their marketing plan is to make Philly seem bad so people don't leave. And well, think about how many, how many people left New York City. Yeah, a lot for, so after like, COVID. Why yeah. would New York, like, I but think everyone it, went to Austin. No, that rich people, like five rich people did, not everybody. Yeah. Most people went to Jersey or something. But I think it's funny because we think that cities, I mean, cities have full-blown marketing campaigns. They yeah. don't, you don't think they have smear campaigns sure. against other places? It wouldn't. It wouldn't Something be think about. stupid to do that. Atlantic City, no one cares about us, but <laughs> I mean, Atlantic City, like it is. Come weird. for the prices, leave for the taxes. That would be <laughs> where we live. It's like is pretty gnarly. If for anybody else, but like in reality, like I would just walk around. Well, some weird. people are like, dude, like Andrew Schultz. <laughs> I took him surfing 
And then we, I was driving him to the Vergata to, to drop him off for his thing. And he was literally kept looking out the window and they look over at me and he was like kind of doing like his little routine, but at the same time being serious, he'd be like, you live around here, bro? And yeah. I was like, no, not, not right here. I live like, I live like a mile or two away, but like, it's kind of different over there. And he's like, is it though? You yeah. Know what I mean, like you really live around here. I mean, like, I love our area, but in, in the, at the same regard, it is kind of embarrassing, not embarrassing. I want to say, but it is kind of like we live next to a a detroit well Atlantic it's like city's just it is known for being pretty bad but there's it's it's so hard to say it's i'm not saying it's so bad but it's it's so run down but the city is like there, scary a lot of it's run down but there's really nice ports parts and there's really parts that i think the thing is everyone i feel like i'm one i'm one of the dreamers like i want atlantic city to be up and coming one day and like people have been dreaming of that for 20 years 30 longer years you i mean know? longer because like think about when like my mom came here and started opening up the condo buildings yeah it's they really were, like working on it yeah they were they my my mom's like boss was opening up i think she he opened up three condo buildings that had like 100 i think it had like 30 floors or something 40 floors that's that's a lot of condos yeah like if i bought a condo in atlantic city people would be like what why like Taxes are going to be outrageous. Yeah. Prices, it's the prices are hiked for no reason. Um, it's interesting. I mean, Atlantic City's wild. It is interesting. It's it's crazy. We live right there, and it was at one point in time, it was the booming spot to be. People booming were, metropolis. People are just coming. Nice. People are definitely coming. They they. I mean, the casinos opened, and then like everyone came and moved here. Like my grandparents moved here, and then my mom moved here, and my aunt. Like everyone just came because they were like, well this is the new place to live because this is where all the jobs are. And our neighbor told us that these lots that we live in right now were 525 bucks. Then take your hands off. And you would go, you in the middle of Margate, it had a big tower. And you'd walk up the tower and you'd look over the land and then you'd point, I want that one. And then <laughs> you'd have to give them $25. Well, so my, how much did my mom put down? My grandparents. She said $25. My my papa put $25 down on his house. This was his second home in Brigantine. So it was no, like, I don't know back then, was it expensive to him? Probably wasn't because my mom said, oh, he has a cash business, cash business, so it wasn't a big deal. But he would, like, he didn't think anything of it. He was like, here's $25. Now build me a house. I think. What the hell? I can't remember if what my grandma said. I have to ask her. I think my great grandfather made three hundred bucks a week. Yeah. That was his, and he was in the Coast Guard. I think he made three hundred bucks a week. But that was your grandfather. I'm talking like no, no, great grandfather. Yeah, but like Mimi's age, Mimi's family. dad. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm saying like, well, I guess Mimi didn't have to buy a house. That's very wild. Well, yeah, I mean, she did because they bought a house. On, they bought a house in Margate after, but. Mm. Um, it's interesting. And I think they bought their house in Longport for 3600 bucks. Well, don't you think it's crazy? Like, Pretty crazy. It's crazy for your grandparents or whatever to live here when, like, nobody lived here. But then, like, t for me, it's, like, my grandparents, like, literally moved from, not moved, but, like, bought a second home in, in a place where they had not knew nothing. Like, because yeah. they went real Wildwood people because a lot of South Philly people would drive down to Wildwood. Because that, yeah. that area was already kind of. Because of the Wildwood marketing campaign. Yeah, pretty much, because that's where everyone went. It was like Wildwood yeah. was the place to go. It already had a board. It had all the things. Yeah. And then I think my great grandmother used to go get a condo in Atlantic City. Um, I think that too. So it was those two things. And then, I don't know. Long story short, they ended up buying a brigantine because of their friends. And I um, mean, thank and God, becoming the king of cannolis. The king of cannolis. Margate and Longport were known as South Atlantic City at a time. Yeah. I think in like nineteen tens, nineteen twenties. Yeah. So, like, when my house was built, our other house in Margate, mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. it was not that desirable, South no. Atlantic City. I mean, Eventually, really. it became Longport Margate, and I remember when my parents bought in Longport, they, people were still being like, oh, you're buying in Longport? Mm -hmm. Really? Well, isn't it funny, though, when I grew up, I would be like, everyone used to make fun of me for, like, I mean, if you want to say that we were, like, literally looking down upon people that didn't have a house in Ocean City or, like, Avalon. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> if you had a second home and it wasn't in these two beach towns, you, like, weren't as cool. Yeah. But that's just, like, bratty kids. But it was, like, 
Brigantine, if you said Longport, if you said any places that weren't like the 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 normal places, it was like, what's that? And it's yeah. like, what? Like Longport and Margie and all stuff. It's such a. Ne- I, I would much rather have a house here than I would anywhere else, yeah. or live here. Imagine you couldn't live anywhere else down this. I mean, maybe Cape May. I mean, Cape May's sick. Yeah, I love it. It's I, I think the whole Jersey Shore is fine for me. It's just obviously I want to live around here because our family's here, but. I love. Well, I your love, family's here. Mine's not. I love New Jersey, but your family has a house here. I know, but it's not the same. It was a pool. Now they will have a pool. But I love the Jersey Shore. Couldn't couldn't really see us doing anything else. No, the Jersey Shore is the best. I don't understand anybody who like doesn't understand. Like I understand people don't get Jersey, but I it's so crazy to me when people come here and they don't they don't like just like think it's the best place ever i'm like how the new jersey is like the jersey shore is the best place ever if you come in the summer and you don't enjoy it like you have issues can in I, my book can i tell you a story about a guy in wildwood just because we're thinking about this there used to be an ice cream man in wildwood that would walk up and down next to the surf contest when i was a kid mm-hmm. and he would go hang 10 teeth on a fudgy wudgy <laughs> hang 10 teeth <laughs> Yeah. Like hang 10? Like hang 10 because it was a surf contest. He'd walk by. Hang 10 teeth on a fudgy wudgy. If you don't make a t shirt that says that, <laughs> that's the sickest. I bet if I called Bill right wait, now, he would be like, dude, ma- I remember that. Wait, make a t shirt with an actual a man surfing, hanging 10 on a fudgicle. Wow. Dripping, like melting. And that. How great. That Wildwood, retired Wildwood ice cream man's going to see that shirt and be like, damn. How? Well, he probably I changed some kid's dead. life. Well, he probably is because he was really old. Yeah, but how cr- amazing would that T-shirt be for the summer? Yeah, it'd be sick. I'm making it. I gotta write it down. You like? Let he- me. Can I get on my phone, sir? <laughs> <laughs> she got me. <laughs> 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 Stop. That's such a great <laughs> hang ten on a hang fudgy. ten teeth. I'm just saying hang ten. No, you ten. have to say teeth. Hang you ten have... teeth. I will not pay for it to get printed. Fudgy. Wudgy. How do you spell wudgy? I don't know, actually. Wudgy? I'm just saying. Fudgy wudgy was a bear. Fudgy wudgy. Had no hair. Fudgy wudgy wasn't a Okay, fuzzy, hang wudgy. ten on a fudgy wudgy surfer surfing hanging on on an ice cream can uh, yeah surfer hanging 10 on a fudgy wudgy fudgical fudgical melting do you call it a fudgical a fudgical yo the phone hates me today it's like auto correcting my things so crazy like look how bad i spelled all that but i know i didn't spell it that bad looks pretty good it's horrible that's a great idea. That would be a legitimate t-shirt. I'm making it. I'm making it. Let's go, boy. Should we just drop like a really cool summer podcast line? What do you guys think about that? Hang on, buddy, buddy. Like, we, uh, obviously we missed the holidays, so we'll just aim for next summer. I'm if making a t-shirt. Dropped, you heard it first. If we dropped a couple fully nuking podcast t-shirts that were related to topics that we talked about. Well, like Mackie's is really good. The drunk guy, like underneath the tree, the coconut tree or whatever. But very limited. Yeah, like, like 50 a t-shirts. Limited run, like 50 or 100 t-shirts. Yeah. You, you go fi- 100. I go 50. Like, make it nice and simple. Like, he has, I say 50, he says 100. You know how much 100 t-shirts are? Uh, a lot. Cost-wise? No, or but like, if, count. say you had three different styles, that would be 300 t-shirts. If you had three different styles, Ooh. 150 t-shirts. It's like a little bit more manageable. I see what you're saying. I see like, what you're I'm saying. Not, I, I don't have saying. these, like... I do believe that you, you guys have these are, vast dreams. No, but the fans are awesome and stuff, but I do believe, like, first off, we're in a recession sir and we don't need people i feel like it's funner to be so limited mm. i don't know mm-hmm. it's kind of cool because mm. you have too many people start might not mm. might not feel the need to buy <laughs> <laughs> ma'am we miss mackie mackie went to the baby shower i'm gonna look up should the... we just facetime mackie and just tell him to say yeah hi? just say hi i'm gonna look up the comment Fudgy, wudgy. Exactly. I'm going to look up the comment giveaway thing because we are exhausted. Thanks for bearing with us today. Um, Oh, I don't know if we hit our... <gasps> He's at Maynard's. I, I told you he was blowing us off. Oh, my. 
you know what? You don't even get you don't even get airtime. I for bye. He's not getting airtime. This is not a witch hunt, but let it be known. Mackey was coming back from his grandma's house, and he did, in fact, choose to go to the bar instead of coming over Wait, here. Wait, I literally just texted him. I said, no airtime for you. Thought I was going to see you snuggled in your bed. Like I did. I thought I was going to answer. He was going to answer the phone and be like, what do you mean oh, I texted so him? I text. You didn't understand what was happening there? Yeah, but he didn't answer, so I didn't know. I said, have fun at Maynard's while we're over here working. On our dream. Can you send me that okay. that Here screen that that grab oh, right thumbnail? now? Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm gonna do the giveaway Na -da 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 -da. momentarily. All right, let's do the giveaway and then check and see if we hit 10k. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Thank you for bearing with us. It was a good time. We did it. Day seven was burly because we. I woke up at 4 a.m. Then I ran the Slamo Classic all day. Mackie had to go to his mom mom's. Jordan had to go to her, what was it called? A cookie? Cookie exchange. Cookie exchange with her family. And we got back late. I was tired. She was tired. Mackie was we're thirsty. All just, we're all just living that tired life. <laughs> Mackie was thirsty, so he couldn't come. Um, so this is what we did tonight. We got it done. Day seven, right? Yeah, Am I yeah. tripping or is it day eight? Hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed it. I was just, we were both tired, but you know, it is what it is. And uh, I think it was a more wholesome, heartfelt one. And out of 12 days. And I can't wait to go watch TV. This is like our middle of the run and maybe we lost a little steam, but we're coming back strong tomorrow. No, I feel like tomorrow's going to be great because I'm going to wake up, take a shower, wash my hair. Like it's a fresh week. Like and it's hair wash. you? No. Oh, he's just over it. Yeah, he hates us. Damn. I know. This is what happens. This is why, you know. The, it's, oh, it's this is actually OG. a really good... What? This is a good time. To, this oh, is, wait. Oh, no. That was my aunt. This is actually what happens. When a lot of times I see in the comments, where's this guy? Where's that guy? Where's this guy? Where's oh, that guy? exactly. Guess what, guys? It ain't me. Well, that is very true. I'm going to text my... I have to remember to text my aunt. Um, it's very, very true because... Yeah, I do see people in the comments a lot. And they'll be like, what happened to this person? And it's like... Do you, like I don't think Ben has really ever taken a step back from someone fired anybody like nothing like he has always been so fair to every single filmer and yeah. he's always been like if they want to work if they want to do this like I'm and every friend who wants to hang out and be yeah. in the videos like and i'm stoked but it's like no one wants to take it seriously and i get it well, the like, problem is people don't want to put that extra effort in no and i get it everyone wants like kind of like not a fr i don't want to say a free handout but they want well, what are they getting in return? And I get that th this life isn't their life. So they have to. Yeah, they, and no, I, totally. And I totally understand that. But for the viewers, I think it's good to know that it's it's not as much us as it is other people just living their lives and choosing to do what they believe in and, other than like this. And Mackie's been doing great. He's stoked. Yeah, no, Mackie's but, great. you know, seven podcasts in a row on a Slamo Classic and... You know, all the boys at the bar with the belt. He can't resist. <laughs> did they? He ends up getting the money. No, what's funny is like, ben, let me just break you. Did I, someone give him the money? I didn't I don't see know, it. It doesn't matter. Huh. What happens is so funny. I was making this joke at the end of the contest today because I give away three awards and each award wins a hundred. Each award wins a <laughs> He goes, I know. I'm sorry. I'm being very selfish. <laughs> like, um, I can't. I'm never mad at Mackie. Each award wins a hundred dollars, and I was joking today. I was like, I might as well go to managers and get credit for buying you guys all the drinks, because all I do is I'm just the yeah, like I'm Ben. Like I know that you get you reimburse me the money, but honestly, I'm done. I'm not paying for them to drink. I'm like gonna be like your dad. What do you mean that's what they do. <laughs> that's what they do with nah, their I winnings. Know. I know, but I might as well go there and buy the drinks to get credit for it because. All that I am. Should we show up in our in our pajamas I right now? I give it to them and then they just give it to the bartender. Should we go right now? It's pretty hilarious. No, I'm definitely not going. But I have, Can I have a party tonight. All right, and with Danny. His name's Dennis. All right, here we go. Danny. We're gonna pick Danny. today's winner, and it is gonna be a nuts one. Troy freaking Taylor. Yeah! Troy Taylor just took it down, dude. Troy Taylor's comment is, as I was researching the Defender, I felt the white 110 four-door was going to be the one. Nailed it. Pineapple. It does look like a stormtrooper. Very appropriate. Exclamation Propriose. point. Oh. Yay, Troy, Troy Taylor, Taylor, dude. Troy Taylor has been OG, number one fan, support, Tro amazing. We love him. And shout out to Hayward. Yes, they're both legends. 
And, you know, I just feel like they're great people, and he deserves it. Thanks for watching. Thank you so He's much. He so deserved. Troy Taylor so What a legend. This. Troy Taylor is literally my number one fan. Oh, I love drawing. That was winner seven. Yay, Troy! Holy cow. Winner seven. That's crazy. Yeah, dead great. All right, so we did it, and uh, we just want to say... Remember to comment. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We're about to run out of memory. So we'll see you guys tomorrow for the dream. We love you. Fully nuking.